Hi guys, so today I would like to talk about Ito's formula for Brownian motion. So let's assume that we have a function f of x and this function is differentiable with respect to x. Okay. Today we want to consider functions of Brownian motion. So if we have a function like this, function of Brownian motion, okay, f w of t, and what we want to do is we want to be able to differentiate this function, okay? So if you remember from your ordinary uh, calculus class, if wt was basically um, a differentiable function, if it was not a Brownian motion, it was basically a differentiable function with respect to t. And if you wanted to differentiate this, then applying the chain rules from our calculus class, we would get d by dt of f of w t is equal to f dash of w of t times w of t, w dash of t, right? This is basically applying the chain rules from our calculus class. And assuming that w of t is not a Brownian motion, it basically is a differentiable function. In terms of uh, differential notation, I can write rewrite this as d f of w of t is equal to f dash w of t w dash of t dt or this can be written as f dash w of t dw of t okay so this is what we're going to get if w of t was a differentiable function but in our lecture right here we basically w of t is basically a brownian motion and from our previous lectures we basically know that brownian motion is not differentiable with respect to t and also brownian motion accumulates quadratic variation at the rate of one per unit time okay hence stochastic calculus is different from regular calculus and we will actually get an additional term. And let me rewrite this uh, equation for a Brownian motion. For a Brownian motion, this would be df of w of t is equal to f dash w of t dw of t plus half f double dash w of t dt. Okay, and this term we get because w of t is a Brownian motion with a non-zero quadratic variation, okay? And why this term comes up, I'm going to show you in just a moment. But for now, just basically understand that we're going to get an additional term here. And we can basically write this in terms of integrals. So if you basically integrate both sides, integrals from 0 to t, integral 0 to t, integral 0 to t, we'll get left-hand side will become f of w of t minus f of w of 0 is equal to integral 0 to t f dash w t d w t plus integral 0 to t f double dash w t d t. Now this integral we already know how to calculate that this basically is a Ito's integral and this is your Lebesgue integral an ordinary integral okay so we know how to compute both these integrals and the left hand side basically gives us the change in the the value of this function between time zero and time capital T okay so now what I would like to do with, I want to actually show you why this term actually comes up. Okay, so let's do that next.